In this video, I'm going to explain the VWAP indicator, also known as the Volume Weighted Average Price Indicator, step by step from the perspective of a professional trader. So if you're trying to understand how to use the VWAP indicator in your trading, why it's important, how it can help you become a better trader, then this is the video for you. Now, if you don't have time to watch the whole video and rather get our cheat sheet explaining the most important things when it comes to the VWAP indicator, you can click the button that should pop up on the corner of this video or go to the link I have in my description. My name is Charles Moon and I've been trading for close to 20 years and today I'm going to teach you how the real professionals on Wall Street use the VWAP indicator trading strategy to potentially find big profits in the market. Don't forget to hit the like button nearby and subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about stock trading and our favorite trading strategies. Let's dive in. All right, everyone. So let's talk about the volume weighted average price or the VWAP. You know, what kind of trades it's really good for, it's really best suited for day traders. The reason being is that it's actually one of the most popular, if not the most popular day trading indicator out there. It's used for, you know, any everything from futures to, you know, large caps to small cap penny pumpers. You know, it, it, the actual inclusion of this indicator for a day trading um, standpoint really helps you understand market sentiment really whether you should be a buyer or seller, whether you should be an aggressive buyer, passive buyer, aggressive seller, passive seller, and more importantly, you know, it is a widely watched, widely referenced day trading indicator or price level of importance. Now, uh, on screen we have Microsoft here and you can see there's a bunch of lines. So I'm just going to highlight specifically where the volume weighted average price level is. It's this deep purple line right here. Now also, if you take a look, there are two lines above and below. Now because of that aspect, whoops, that's a horrible drawing. Uh, because of that aspect, guys, these are important levels that we must know as a day trader, um, both on the upside and the downside, okay? So when we look at the volume weighted average price and knowing that it's the most popular day trading indicator, that also means there's gonna be a ton of eyes watching these particular levels. That's why they become extremely important to be aware of because market sentiment can change on a dime right there. Again, if you're able to buy low with limited risk with great upside reward plus defined targets, that always makes those trading opportunities extremely attractive. So I'm gonna break down in a bit exactly what I mean by that and why this is uh, uh, relevant on an everyday situation especially with stocks that trade on volume. Now overall, the volume weighted average price resets every single day. It will start, meaning it will start its indicator from the opening print, not at the opening bell, but in pre-market action as you can see back here. And you can see right here. And because of that, the VWAP will change on a day-by-day -day basis. We don't want that data to carry over. Again, when we talk about the VWAP, we're more interested in knowing the current market sentiment versus what the previous sentiment was. Things could always change on a dime. A stock could be extremely bullish one day and then look extremely bearish the next. And so as a day trader, we're only looking for those pockets, those small pockets of movement, and we're looking to take advantage of those opportunities when they're presented. Now, when we take the VWAP into consideration, how are we gonna trade off of these levels? In particular, again, if you have a basic understanding of support and resistance, that is absolutely one way you could approach these actual trade entries. You're looking for potential bounces off this VWAP level right here, right? We're looking for resistance or support off of these levels for reversal plays as well. And again, I'll highlight those in just a bit. But overall, when we see stocks below the VWAP, it's actually telling us that the buy side demand is not that significant. And more than anything, sellers may be in control, all right, because the heavily traded volume is pressuring the stock down. And I, on the flip side, it's, it's the same thing. If stocks are above the VWAP, we could really view that as a bullish thesis, right? Buyers are in control. They're not letting the stock price deflect any lower. 
Now, as with any day trading sentiment that we decide to take on, right? Anytime we want to day trade, it's always going to be best in the first hour, hour and a half of the day to trade. Why? Because it's going to be the most volatile time frame. It's going to be the most liquid time frame, and there's going to be the most inflow of volume. Now, all of these are a bit separate from each other, but when you combine them, and again, timing is going to be crucial in these moments, these are the recipe to getting great rewards in a short period of time. That's so important when we respectfully look to day trade. When we day trade in choppy market conditions with no conviction movements, you get a lot of head fakes, you get a lot of it looks like it's gonna drop and then it comes back up and then you start buying and then it comes back down and it just becomes these highly frustrating moments. So again, a part of that analysis, a part of that knowledge is gonna lead to where we should trade regarding the volume weighted average price. Now, let's talk about strength. When we see price performance in a stock, especially early on, ladies and gentlemen, right? When we look at price performance in a stock early on, and respectfully, it, it, a stock takes off in the first five minutes to the upside, and then it pulls back. A lot of the times, these stocks pull back to the volume-weighted average price range, right? When it hits this indicator and starts holding as a floor, especially if it taps it a couple of times in just a short time frame, a lot of that usually means that there's buyers coming in and that the stock is primed to make an up move. So if you look at my chart right here in Microsoft, you can see that we actually had early sentiment and early buying, and you can see that Microsoft started bouncing off of the VWAP. And sure enough, right there, it decided to pop back off of that level, decided to make new highs, and started to immediately have range extension. These, again, are meant to be more shorter term trades. Sometimes you could hold off and hold a lot of these stocks, you know, from open to close, a lot of day traders will, but a lot of these are meant to be short term moves, three minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes. Obviously, it's important that the stock stays above the VWAP, but if we could get an early indication of where the stock price movement is going to be, we could take full advantage of those opportunities. And more importantly, we know exactly what side of the market we want to be a player on. Again, if we're holding the VWAP like Microsoft did in that instance, we're certainly going to be looking to be a buyer. Now, if we look to the chart here, you can see that early on, the VWAP actually decided to become a bit of a resistance range highlighted right in this circle, this little baby circle inside that circle. It actually shot Microsoft down to the lows. And it's the same thing. When we got up to this upper level, we had instant rejection. And when we got below that VWAP, guys and gals, look at this waterfall of selling. Now, overall, how could we have noticed specifically that Microsoft was due for a reversal down? It's the same thing that we could see. I'm actually going to make this chart just a little bit bigger so you could see it very, very succinct. You could see that early on, ladies and gentlemen, Microsoft became instant resistance at the VWAP. And then when it recovered above, it became instant support. And then once again, when it got below, it became instant resistance. Now, the telling thing here is these particular price levels that I have these half circles on. Now, that is the second standard deviation. Generally speaking, with the VWAP, the 2.0 standard deviations are an important aspect as well. Why? Because A, they could be tradable levels, right? We look for reversal plays off of them. Or B, if you're already long or short, these are levels of consideration to take profits. Again, if we're expecting reversal plays from these levels and we're going long, right, and it comes to the upside, the top or the upper standard uh, deviation, we're expecting a reversal down. If we start to see that reversal, it could actually have us be more proactive in terms of our trade management. And in an instance like this, where you are a buyer off of this VWAP, if you paid attention close enough, you knew exactly to take profits, because if you didn't, all of a sudden, you'd be caught in this washout to the downside. Now, again, this is a pretty transparent and pretty easy, and pretty straightforward um, you know, indicator that kind of gave you that guidance if you knew how to read it. And again, when we got to that second standard deviation, not only did Microsoft hit it once, it hit it twice and instantly rejected lower. From that level, guys, it got under the VWAP and rejected again. So 
you could actually see in that instance that sellers started pressing it at the highs and really they started breaking it down and adding on as it started moving lower at the VWAP range and that set Microsoft all the way to the lows of the day. When we see these reversals take place off of this level, again, it can be easel, easily used as a tradable idea with low risk, high reward or a trade management moment where you're looking to secure the bag, secure the profits, manage through your position. Now, if we look very closely here, guys and gals, you could see that there was support in that reversal up and it held the VWAP up, uh, resistance at the top and the VWAP rejection down and that led to the new lows. Now with stocks, especially when it comes to this 2.0 standard deviations, generally speaking, when they start trading outside that level, the stock generally looks to come back in. We call that the theory of magnetism, right? That's why we see these reversal points. Now, certainly at some point in time, we could still see the stock moving lower. And if you notice here, the bands, right, or the upper uh, ledges and the lower ledges are expanding. Now, when they were tight previously, and now they've expanded to be this wide, it just, just tells you that there's a lot of volatility that's taking place in the stock, that there was much larger than normal price movement. And so it's accounting for that as such. It's accounting for that as a reversal play up. It's accounting for that as a reversal play down. So keep that in mind. Now, again, when stocks are below the VWAP, remember, we're thinking bearish sentiment. Now, the reason being, ladies and gentlemen, because of that thesis is because the buyers were not strong enough. There wasn't enough demand to keep the stock price propped above this VWAP. This VWAP is traditionally looked at as a threshold level on a daily basis for each of these individual stocks. It doesn't matter if it's Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Baba, NVIDIA. You could go on and on and you'll see how stock price and reaction at this level really plays a role in future sentiment and price performance. Now, just because a stock gets below the VWAP doesn't automatically mean you should look to short, you should close out your longs. That's not what I'm trying to say here. But I am saying that this is giving you guidance. This is giving you guidance on who is winning the short-term battle between buyers and sellers. And if you decide to ignore that guidance, especially if a stock is breaking down and making new lows for the day, you're basically ignoring the straightforward information that's on that chart there that's telling you what's happening. And you never know, you never know how far a stock may move lower. In this case, look at Microsoft, once it broke those lows, it ended up flushing down for another five points. Now, as we see volatility start to expand, certainly we have an understanding that there's greater room for recovery or greater room for profit potential. In the instance that it's below the VWAP and you're looking to be a buyer, you're always gonna to wanna to take a more passive route. Trying to catch a falling knife is never a good theory. And certainly either you're looking for reversal patterns, whether it's a high or low reversal pattern. I highlighted something as the W formation in previous videos. And specifically, if you're buying it at these levels, we're always looking for a recovery to, you know, at or near that VWAP range. So this is the beauty of the VWAP as well, right? If we're looking to be a buyer in a passive state, especially in a stock that's weak, we need to know what our upside targets may be. There's two ways to approach this. One, to be fairly stubborn and fairly strong-holded and looking for that VWAP range. Or two, you're looking for snap reversal plays where you're scalping in and out, in and out, in and out really quick. Now, I'm not suggestively saying to buy 25 times as the stock price is moving lower, but if you could pick and choose your moment, you could get in, get maybe a one, two, maybe even a three point bounce and get the heck on out. There's nothing wrong with that. But ideally, if you were looking to hold, our first upside target in consideration has to be the volume weighted average price, the VWAP. Now, for you folks, if you're wondering why, again, we showcased here earlier that in Microsoft, there was two different occasions today where we actually saw the VWAP or the volume weighted average price act as a ceiling, a barrier to prevent the stock price from going any higher. Anytime we see resistance and the stock react negatively to resistance, that's price action telling us that sellers are in control. And again, if sellers are in control, it's gonna be very difficult for the price to continue to move higher. 
So that is the market saying, this might be time to take some profits, or at the very worst, reduce your risk exposure, maybe move your stop up and you know adjust in terms of what you're looking for um, to the upside as you bought off these lows. Now, if we actually have the stock recover through the VWAP, as we've seen in other instances, and in fact, I'll pull up a stock right now that I knew, that I know has recovered very nicely. Moderna. Now you can see Moderna actually came off of this level on the lower ledge, hit a higher low reversal, and all of a sudden it started getting above and holding above the volume weighted average price. So once we're above that level, guys and gals, your next targeted level should always be either the high of the day or the second standard deviation. Again, when we play from range to range and we talk about predictability and outcomes, well, what's really important here, ladies and gentlemen, what's really important is that we know where these potential resistance points may be, where we should look to possibly, at the very least, start working on our positions, whether it's to reduce our risk exposure by taking some shares off the table and or adjusting stops. If you actually look at in that metric, let's say you had 200 shares off the lows here, you take 100 shares for profit right at that uh, yellow arrow, and then you move your stop up to at least break even or higher, you're kind of putting yourself in a position of success. Even if Moderna decides to roll over for the rest of the day, the worst case scenario is that you're walking away profitable. This is going to be extremely important. For me, I'm always looking for some sort of reference of a higher low reversal or a lower high reversal at these extremes. And when I see those levels, or when I see that kind of chart set up, right, a lower high, double top rejection, double bottom reversal, and I'm long into those levels or short into those levels, I am scrambling to manage through my position and or most likely exiting out of my position. Now, this was, again, a great example of Moderna going from the lows here, guys, recapturing and getting above the VWAP. That would be the first target if you bought on those lows and going straight to that second standard deviation. And as you can see, live in front of you right now is not only deflected, but starting to move lower to the downside and retracing back to the VWAP. Again, targeted price levels, all there, all transparent, and more importantly, a visual representation. If you know exactly where stock's gonna go and possibly stop, you just plan around those levels. And if you ignore it, no offense, that falls on your shoulders. The one thing I actually encourage you guys is be comfortable taking profits, guys. Think about this, right? If we're walking down the street and there's a $20 bill on the ground, are you just gonna walk past it or are you gonna pick it up? It's the same thing with trading, guys and gals. Even if the market only wants to give you $20, $30, it's better than losing $200 in that situation. Again, how can we know that? Well, a lot of that is structural, right? A lot of that is all based on these indicators. And the VWAP itself, the most popular day trading indicator, in my opinion, is going to provide these particular price levels for you to be attentive of and you to be aware. If you actually take a look at these price levels and see that reactive behavior, you're really left with two choices. Work your trade and listen to the market action or ignore it and face the consequences. That's really it. Now, if we're looking to see maybe we wanna buy the dip in this situation on Moderna, this is where the VWAP will come into play yet again. As you can see, Moderna is about $8 off its highs right now, so $8. The volume weighted, um, volume weighted average price for Moderna right now is at around $347. So that would actually put it at nearly 11 points off the highs. So imagine you could buy in on the dip specifically with potentially $11 upside and a very small risk parameter. So what do you mean by risk parameter? Well, this is a great way that I would look into trading this possible situation. If Moderna comes back straight to this VWAP and then bounces, you could buy really quick right above that VWAP and have your stop just slightly below that particular price level. As you can see, uh, Moderna did slide just barely below, 
but eventually held that perfectly and ran back up. That's actually what I would expect in this situation. Coming from the lows to the new highs of the day, that's an extremely bullish sign. Coming back $11 off of the highs makes it a great value buy. If you could get into a situation where you have 11 points upside, but you have to risk two to $3, how would you feel about that? I mean, that could be a potential five and a half to one reward to risk ratio, but on the lower end, let's say it's somewhere around 3.6 to maybe four reward to risk ratio. If that sounds good to you, then this is going to be an attractive opportunity. Maybe you didn't know where to buy in on the dip. The VWAP allows you to understand where you could focus on that price level and wait for the market to come back to you. Now, if Moderna happens to like kind of turn around and rebound here and really start rallying strong, then so be it. That's okay. There's no point in chasing, especially as you're getting closer to the highs, guys and gals. Don't FOMO out. That leaves you a very limited upside and bigger downside risk. Change the scenario into a winning one. Be patient for your opportunity. See if you could get that opportunity. Look for the price action. Most notably, we want to find a support level at the VWAP. Know that you only have to allocate small risk to potentially make great reward. And again, if this makes sense to you guys and gals, you know you now know how to trade around the volume weighted average price. And you could see one specific indicator can not only provide a pure analysis on the price action in the stock today, but also leads to multiple opportunities, all within one stock that have had tremendous rewards today. This is the beauty of this actual indicator. Not only is it gonna give you targeted price levels, structure to trade around, but important indicators that a lot of eyes that are specifically day trading the stock that are really presented at specific levels. And if you see what you're expecting to see, the only thing that is left is to pull this trigger. So you can use, right, a confluence of other indicators to help support your thesis, maybe for reversal plays, RSIs or DMIs, right? You could use a volume indicator in conjunction with the volume weighted average price. You could use moving averages as they cross up and below. But quite honestly, a lot of day traders only need and use the volume weighted average price indicator. Again, it gives you multiple levels to focus on, multiple levels to trade from. It could be presenting multiple opportunities in one specific stock. And so imagine if you're looking at 10 other stocks, how many more trading opportunities will come up? The question is, as a day trader, how many day trades do you really need? So that's the beauty of this Moderna, guys and gals. For me, uh, I'm sorry, not Moderna, this VWAP. For me, this is by far the greatest day trading indicator. I believe that every day trader should be looking at this particular uh, indicator itself. Know your levels, reference them, utilize them, and take advantage of the scenario that is presented at hand. All right, guys, it's Charles Moon here, Senior Stock Strategist with Prosper Trading Academy, and I just wanna say thank you for your time. Do me a favor, if you happen to like that video, smash the like button, click that subscribe button, click that notification button, leave us a comment below on what you liked about this video. If you had any questions, I would love to answer them. Peace and love, everybody.